I want to apologize to Lake Correctional Institution, Florida first, and then I want to apologize to the Lake County Sheriff's Office, to all the honest officers that work at both of those places. I am sorry because jerks like this guy I'm about to talk about, they will never tell you they're sorry. I don't know what is going on over in that Lake County area, what's going on in the water, but listen folks, we do know that the majority, the vast majority of you are honest, hardworking officers, and we won't forget that, okay? But for right now, there is another officer who came from Lake Correctional Institution and went to the uh, Lake County Sheriff's Office to work in detention, and he was just busted smuggling drugs into the jail inside a can of the tobacco, a can of dip. Okay, this uh, Jimmy Ancrum, age 44, right here, decided to come to work with some unknown liquids, a plastic bag with a crystal substance, substance, and another plastic bag containing a crystal crystal substance and a broken white pill inside a chewing tobacco can, as we call it down here in the South, some dip, brought it in a dip can. Now, the can was sealed and taped, okay? And inside the container, hidden underneath the chewing tobacco, were these items I just described to you, okay? He said that he intended to bring the can to the inmate but he just thought it only had tobacco. Yeah, right. Well, number one, a can of tobacco smuggled into an inmate is a felony offense under Florida Statute 944.47, introduction of contraband, folks. Food falls under that statute. Only the items they're allowed to have. But of course, we know he's full of baloney. I'll use the word baloney. He's full of baloney. He knew what was in the can. He was trying to make some extra bucks. He's just one of several officers that have come out of Lake Correctional that have found themselves in hot water. And I'm sorry, uh, Lake County Sheriff's Office. Don't know what's going on there, but I'm going to tell you what I think. A lot of these guys are skipping ship, jumping ship from Lake Correctional to you because of higher pay. Hey, I did the same thing after... I don't know what, almost 17 years in the Florida Department of Corrections, I went to the Polk County Sheriff for higher pay, but I didn't bring contraband into the inmates. I said this in a video uh, before, I still think that when these officers start to feel a little heat or they feel that an inmate may be getting ready to turn them in for their smuggling deeds or they think that the administration or somebody is catching on to them, they, these type of people, these type, are not moving for the money. They're moving to get away from the heat, going to the sheriff's detention, and continuing their little escapades thinking they can get away with it. Just a thought. I would love to be able to have a chance to pop some of these phone numbers from these uh, officers getting arrested. Now, they're already arrested. They're taken care of. You know, the, as they say, you play the... Corrupt, corruption game long enough, you're going to get caught. You're going to get caught and you're going to go down. But I would love to pop their phone numbers into the state phone system and the county phone system and see how many inmates or inmates, friends or relatives pop up connected to their phone number. Anyway, hopefully the state attorney will subpoena some phone records before they uh, offer him a nice sweet plea deal. Okay, uh, he's out on $4,000 bond. He paid that the same day. And the termination is in process, okay? His termination is in process. Well, it shouldn't take much. Type up the letter, legal. Get it typed, get it signed by the sheriff, and let's terminate this guy. And now let's get some criminal charges on him because he's making the honest, hard-working officers look bad. Okay. You know, smuggling inside a can of tobacco, uh, when I've worked cases in the state prisons, I've seen them smuggle it 
inside of smuggled drugs inside a sandwich, smuggled drugs inside hidden compartments of a bottle of water where the label is around the bottle of water. So you see water on top, you see water on the bottom, but the middle is actually a hidden compartment with the drugs. Looks like the officer's bringing uh, a bottle of water with their lunch. There's the old uh, coffee thermos trick, you know, the bottom of the thermos is made to where it can come off and then the drugs are put inside. There's the old uh, drugs are put into a container that will not allow them to get wet and that's dropped inside the coffee thermos. You look in there, you see liquid and down in the bottom is actually the drugs. And there's the old hide it in the underwear, hide it in the boots. I mean, come on, it's getting bad, bad when we have to keep catching these corrupt officers bringing in drugs to inmates. And when I say these corrupt officers, one thing that the, the public needs to know, I have some people that aren't in corrections on this YouTube, you have to realize that we are catching them, we are prosecuting them, we are terminating them, but remember, they do not represent the vast majority of hard-working, honest officers. But we must continue. We cannot bury our head in the sand and pretend like we don't have a drug contraband issue in Florida Department of Corrections. Folks, I'm gonna just sit here and tell you, there's a drug smuggling issue in every prison in the United States. Don't let any warden or administrator sit there and tell you, we don't have that problem in our prison. Come on, you have inmates, you have temptation for greed and money, you have that problem. Just have to fight it. Fight that problem and keep it to a minimum. And every time we catch one of these rotten guys, we've probably saved somebody's life. Anyway, just a little bit of my thoughts on these, these rotten apples that we're still catching and we will continue to catch and get them out of our system. We need every administrator, every one on the front line to spot these guys, turn them in when you know they're bringing something in the inmates. Hey, no snitch here. You're doing a good deed. You're saving somebody's life when you turn in an officer bringing contraband to inmates. Get rid of their sorry ass and save somebody's life. Thank you for watching. Gary York, True Prison Stories. Please subscribe.